So, welcome to Art Brussels. There's literally hundreds of galleries and hundreds of artists here. Let's go explore. I'm sitting in the middle of Mehdi George's Hourglass display and it feels like I'm in the middle of the movie, Sands of Time. This is a message from the artist Didier Festino to all the men out there. Man up and go from zero to hero. So here, Breko Dimitrovich has combined Western modernist sculptures with traditional African art. Look how beautiful these vivid colours are by Peter Halley. This is a creation by the artist GPW3 and the wax represents all the dirt that the wheel picks up uh, during its journey. To me it looks like a clogged up artery, so eat healthily. This is a piece by Jenny Perlin. Um, the blobs represent time loss through sinkholes. Um, this is the lighter version of the artwork and that's more sinister side, darker version of the translation. So this is a piece by David Rhodes and I like it because it reminds me of the yellow submarine. This is an interesting piece by Germaine Cruz and sometimes things are not what they appear to be. Look at my shadow. I'm at the Holtz Collective and this is quite interesting. One person is taking confetti one way and the other person is taking it in the opposite direction. The Holtz Collective are trying to um, find our own individuality within a collective and we're doing that by using confetti as a medium in a playful manner with very serious consequences. The Korean artist Myung Bong Kim has created a light bulb with fish inside um, and it's called Edison. So here Johannes Wall is recreating beauty through the use of concrete hands. Yeah, Karina Gismaro is using filters uh, found typically in, uh, for example, extractor bands to paint sceneries inspired by Italian poets. So this is by um, the German artist Bella Hansen and her artwork represents windows within windows. So this is an interesting piece. It looks like water is dropping into the puddle but there are no drops. This piece is by Stephen Fathom called Eleven Strikes. Striking, isn't it? By John Baptist Bernadette. Uh, it's a beautiful piece. What comes to mind when you look at it? Um, it's by Matilda Tehain and she reconstructs prehistoric objects. So Marcel Brousseis has uh, interpreted each species of cow as a model of car. My hands optobic and he's taken an everyday action and placed it out of context for us to enjoy. This is by Walter LeBlanc and I love the colour scheme. Jeff's son house and if you go up to it um, there's mirrored pieces in the eyes and you can see himself. So Gottin Delay AK okay, has embroidered on canvas um, and she's also created an artistic piece whereby she's knitted some organs. There's a queue of people for this one and basically uh, you put money in the box and the artist inside the box creates something for you. Hello, my name is Josi and I just purchased this painting from the vending machine from Mr. Horio and I ordered a proper painting and I'm very happy with this because this is a real proper painting which you can also use as a kind of a mask, I guess. The artist John Penza has created this sculpture out of seven different alphabets and I love the rock because it looks like it's sitting on a piece of Petra. Don't you think so? This is a hair which is um, created by the artist Barry Flanagan and he's almost as tall as I am. <laughs> so this is by the German artist Peter Zimmermann and he is most famous for his epoxy resin paintings. However, this is an oil painting um, and if you look at the strokes, it looks like he's actually painted it with his fingers or his hands, but he has painted it using a brush. This is 
by the Swiss artist Mary Josie Murphy and it's called One Day, Un Jour. This is a, a piece by Eero Schusinger. He's used the negative concept of burning things um, to create a piece of artwork from an old carpet. Walking around the exhibition centre and we're quite thirsty now, uh, we come across this piece by Catherine Andrews, Might Take a Sip. <laughs> it's too, too high. <laughs> This is by the artist Su Zhen. Um, it's oil on canvas. It looks so delicious, a bit like icing, but I feel like eating a cake now. This is by Sylvie Fleury. It's made of fiberglass, and that's what I call a magic mushroom. By the um, recycle group called um, Battle of Instagram. It's a, a modern take on a classic fresco. So if you look closer in the hands, they've got mobile phones and um, iPads. Here's a lovely piece by Gary Webb. It was inspired by his first dream. It's a beautiful piece by Marcus Linenbring. Uh, it's epoxy resin and underneath is also a painting uh, made of epoxy resin. But So this is by Jochen Holler, and this is literally when the words drop off a page. This piece is by Matthew Derbyshire and it's a take on arts versus industry. Beautiful display, but we don't know who it belongs to. Behind me is a piece um, by Ivan Navarro called Come to Daddy. Who's the daddy? <laughs> And here's a piece by Yumin Jun called Tao Laughter. I think I just found the daddy. This work is by Tracy Emin, but I want to say a big thank you to Belgium Chocolates because of you, I'm here. by Minir Factory saying uh, God is beautiful and everything is beautiful. Oh.